Hello and welcome back to Skyrim. Last time we learned how to shout at old men and how to make ourselves shout in a particular direction like this. Like like this. Just have to find the right button. Right. So, in this episode, we are heading down Mount uh, I keep calling it Mount Throthgar. That is not the name of it at all. No, but on the way up, we didn't uh, do the tablets, and there's a good reason for that. Because the tablets give you uh, a perk known as Voice of the Sky, which lasts for a day in game. Now, Voice of the Sky uh, gives, uh, makes you so that uh, beasts and other animals won't attack you for a whole day inside the game. But that's really no use if you're going up to Mount to to High Throthgar as you'll only get the perk after getting all stone tablets, but the order doesn't matter. So normally you'd be facing this one and this would be the last one. And uh, then you'd be entering High High Throthgar and there aren't, aren't really all that many beasts inside of there. So instead we will do the tablets in backwards order because it doesn't matter which order you get them in as long as you get all ten. Um, most of them are pretty easy to find so and of course they have a small message which we which I will try to read in an uh, epic announcer voice if I can do such. So let's just go ahead and get the first one. It should be number ten. Edge tablet. Voice, the voice is ver worship. Follow the inner path. Speak only in true need. Okay. The second one is by this statue of Talos up here. Again, with the history of the of High Hrothgar and Talos being a dragonborn himself. For years all silent, the Greybeard spoke no name. Tiber Septin, stripling then, was summoned to Hrothgar. They blessed and named him Dovahkin. <laughs> uh, we still have some afflictions uh, to deal with, and we still have a lot in our inventory, but um, hopefully this episode shouldn't feature a whole lot of um uh looting or combat either so instead right jurgen vincola chose silence and returned the 17 disputants could not shout him down jurgen the calm built his home on the throat of the world i mean i guess you could say they are more um, epic poems than uh, than lyric uh, poems. Um, the thing is about poems. Many things that uh, roses are red, violets are blue. I have I have I have suffered from dyslexia, and that is not true. Um, for example, uh, that things has to rhyme in order to be a poem. Uh, I've written a few poems myself as uh, on on Tumblr. Mm. Um, and I would say, no, a poem does not need to rhyme, but it's much easier to uh, make people like the poem if there is rhyming involved in it. The tongues at, R at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jürgen Winkoller began his seven-year meditation. To understand how strong voices could fail. So, basically, all these uh, stone tablets is um, a long epic poem. Now, an epic poem is uh, more than a lyric poem. That is like saying "I love you, you love me, we're like sitting in a tree." Um, the epic uh, poem is often telling a story. Where uh, uh, can we take those with us? Um, often of uh, of mythical or uh, epic proportions, hence the name. Um, but it can also be a small tale. It doesn't have to be something about heroes or 
old civilizations. With roaring tongues the sky children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. So these stone tablets actually tell a bit of the story about the dragonborns and uh, of uh, High Hrothgar and Jürgen Windkohler. Which is uh, actually, actually quite interesting. Uh, did I miss one? That was seven, right? So the next one should be... Actually, let's uh, not have this one equipped. That is only asking for trouble. There we go. What time is it? Again. So I think the next one is just around this rock here. Yep. And that should be number six. What? Have I? No, no, no. It's right. It, it's right. I have, I have read four already. Five. Men prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice was t their voice too was strong, although their sacrifices were manifold. So this is the tale of the the battle at Red Mountain, uh, where Alduin was defeated for the first time. Perhaps he didn't get the message back then that uh, we keep the. Uh, the people of Tamriel kind of like their world and don't want it destroyed. I suppose for the more chaotic uh, personalities you would uh, like to have the option of destroying the world yourself. I mean, you could do that, but let's let's be honest. Being a hero is more awesome than being a villain. It's easy being a... Uh, being, uh, a scheming bastard. It's easier... Um, this is pr a quote, I don't know who made it or when it was made, but it's, it says something along the lines of it's easier to take a life than it is to give one. Basically, it's easier to keep someone alive uh, it, it's easier to kill them off, ending your problems, uh, than it is keeping someone who is a problem alive. But, uh, yeah. Kain called on Parthenax, who pitied man. Together they p thought men to use the voice. Then the dragon war raged, dragon against tongue. So, um, well, in the grand scheme of things, um, the few times I've tried being uh, of chaotic in nature, it haven't really fared well for me in games, uh, various games such as uh, Red Dead Redemption and uh, T uh, The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, uh, and also other games. Um, but my point is, uh, I'm not good at being a, he a villain. I'm probably not the best at being a hero either, but if you're trying to do good, then that's the first step on the way. Did I kill this one? Uh, I think I did. Yeah, because I emptied the bowl here, I remember that. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragon and at their voices. But the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Hello, Goatsy. <sighs> Now, once we get into um, the Hearthfire content, uh, goats will actually have some importance, as uh, all all uh, houses needs uh, wall sconces, which are uh, basically torches made from goat horn, placed uh, both on the inside and on the outside. So, uh, when I have more inventory space and 
when I've be done when I've begun building ha building a house or more houses, um, there will be uh, potentially m a lot more goat slaying. Goats for the goat guard, right? Uh, so we are almost done with the emblems. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then, and had no voice. So we should have uh, up in the top right corner, uh, when uh, we read the last um, uh, emblem down here at the, f at the foot of the mountain, um, a new active uh, effect called Voice of the Sky, which is the effect I mentioned before. Uh, so, and we're doing okay on time. It actually, well, since it's clear running down here, um, it takes a lot longer to run up than down. Now, I for one uh, wish they added elements of uh, ice and wind more into the part of going up uh, to the throat of the world, uh, considering how how uh, both uh, Klemek and um, and Bolgruf, uh, spoke about how the steps were dangerous. But let's read the final tablet. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mondos. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could not, could own, could blot out the sky and flood the land. Uh, oh, it was in the top left. My bad. Voice of the sky. And if we go in under magic, as soon as we have auto saved, as soon as we have auto saved. Thank you. And active effects. Voice of the sky. Animals will neither attack nor flee from you for a whole day in the game. So that is now active, and we shouldn't have beasties approaching us for the rest of this episode. Maybe a bit into the next even, depending on how my recording setup is for that. So, we head back down to Iverstead. Now there is a thing, thing before we head into Iverstead. Because we have now done the thing with High Hrothgar and we are level 10, this means that the Dragonborn DLC likely will kick in here. So we might have some cultists. For the sake of that, um, because we need to talk to them first. How's that doing? No. Oh, ooh, that's doing all right. Uh, uh, yeah, let's uh, say that it is hammer time. Ho ho ho! And it's night time, so there are almost so no NPCs should be out. That is almost as perfect as it could be. And the guards will help me, of course, should the need. Yep, here comes the cultist. Hello. You're the one they call Dragonborn. No, that was your mother. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry, let me just drink some coffee to think about that. Hmm. It's too late. The lie has already taken root in the hearts of men. So we shall expose mm. the falseness in their hearts by tearing out yours, deceiver. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall I don't think so. Boom! Did you just... Kaboom! I just did. I just did, mate. Do these have any good stuff on them? Ugh. <laughs> uh, that was not exactly what I wanted for good stuff. Om nom 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 nom. Kalima! Kalima! <laughs> Is that actually better? Oh, yeah, we're wearing leather, alright. Uh, we can s use that. Ugh. That heart wasn't done, wasn't cooked. It needed some sauce. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, can sell that. Yes, and we're not over. Read. Board the vessel, Northern Maiden, docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Garage before he reaches Solstheim. 
Return with word of your success, and Mirak shall be most pleased. Spoiler alert, he's not gonna be pleased. Alright. Um, there is actually another thing that can happen once you're level 10 and within a settlement. And that is the um, Dawn Guard DLC kicking in. So, really, if you're unlucky, you could have um, both vampires attacking a settlement and cultists seeking your attention all at once. Now, I'm only happy that um, that Hearthfire is rather peaceful. Uh, Heard they're informing the Dawn God. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's actually exactly what they are. Not or something. Uh -huh. What? Ah, uh, yeah. So that started Dawn Guard. Now, as I said, I won't uh, particularly go out of my way to uh, to get uh, Dawn Guard stuff, Dawn Guard or um, Dragonborn stuff. But if I come across uh, a cave or a other, well, then I will be taking that if it's a part of what my journey there now in case you didn't know you might see these strange things and these are almost only a current in the in the in the rift with its uh, autumn like for birch forest so you see these white uh, kind of clots hanging around these are beehives that you can get for alchemical Things. Oh, uh, that. Would, all right. And we have a bear down there. All right. Let's go for. Um, probably that. Not that we have a great need for it right now, and. It's red because how can can we do something more with this? No, we already got that. Hmm. We have one in this, yes. One and we have one in heavy armor, right? We should have that at least. Yes, alright. Uh how about no we can't do anything more in this until we have twenty. Uh right. Then let's go for sneak, something like. Oh, wait, wait, come back here. Hey, hey. Sneak attack with one handed. All right, we'll work to go towards that one. Uh huh. Hey. So all these are actually. I wouldn't advise. See, there's. I'll have that back. Thank you. Uh, it's a bear cave, so let's just clear it out. This is a small cave, so that's why I'm doing it, because it won't take a lot of time. <sighs> a bit of coffee there. I always have a cup of coffee for um, my recording sessions. I drink about uh, three to four cups of coffee with milk every day. Just a habit. I might be addicted. Uh, relax. Whoa! And maybe you should relax too. Ow. 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 Pushed me out of the cave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that is one way to leave a cave. Uh. Unless he followed me out. Or oh, is there anything else here that can see me? Ah, let's just go for. Let's 
just chop a little bear. But yeah, um, also working in um, the education system, uh, you really get... Uh, you really get uh, thankful for, uh, for coffee and uh, it becomes a, a, a part of your daily life, drinking coffee. Um, when you stand and uh, are about to face plus 20 kids that are unruly have had too much sugar and are just waiting to get a th to get a off and you have to teach to uh, to teach them something about uh, health and uh, and games to play that are that are also good for their for their fitness well then the, then you will need some coffee to to not lose your mind simply um but as stressful as it was um, while I'm in it, the part of being around uh, kid, kids like that is, is amazing, really. Uh, oh, that's a skill book. Now, skill books are easy to recognize in, in inventories like this because they are worth a whole lot more than regular uh, books. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. It was me. I stole it. Uh, yeah. Some extra gold to be had here. Have I? Oops. Yeah, it's clear. I know that. White cap. Yep, I did that. Um. But really, yeah, it's uh, it's. Is he throwing the jazz hands like saying, "Oh, we got a badass over here." Yeah, you could, you you wouldn't be able to see it, but I I just did did the jazz hands there. Uh, have a dear cranium. You know what? Actually, let's have some fun. Can can we? Ew. Oh, we can't do that. We can't do this though. Uh, so really, there was nothing here, uh, nothing of interest. That is not even uh, a single ore. But yeah, uh, working with kids. Um, I mean, I think if um, even if it's not as a teacher, which granted most of the time I wasn't it was just a few times where someone was sick and they and uh, they needed a, a stand-in and I was I was I was like well I'm here and you're paying me anyway so why why not let me take it and um, you know it's it's uh, the experience of of being with kids being around kids is um, is unique. Uh, to me, it was well, it was an opportunity. Also, because I was looking to gain some some experience uh, towards working within the field of within that line of work, um, which might have some uh, long term before I am able to just to but. Really, it's just about feeling, as I said to uh, to to the leader of the school, uh, when he wanted to ask me if I could uh, continue over over the summer holiday and and uh, take some days there. I said, you know, you know what what makes this this um, this line of work great for me. It is that. When I go home, Friday afternoon, Friday Friday evening, depending on what we have been doing, then my first thought is not, boy, am I glad it's weekend. My first thought was, man, am I looking forward to meeting up on work, meeting up to work again Monday, Monday morning. And it was just, it was really that simple. I, 
uh, I, mean, I mean, it's not, um, it's not a grand uh, paying line of work, and it's ve it's probably one of the more stressful ones. But in all on all of the time, it doesn't matter if you are happy about what you do. Then it's not the coin. Um, that that should decide whether you should have a job or not. Would you stand still? So yeah, basically that is very much what I'd want to do. Hmm. Uh, perhaps I would make a fine rock, but. You have would have trouble making me into a rug as you are dead. This is actually a really interesting place. Now, without the DLCs, it is not. But because we have, sorry, the Dragon Ball, uh, the uh, the Dawn Guard DLC added, we have also added something called the Ethereum Forge. Uh, there was an Imperial soldier that came too close here. That is actually better than what I have, so yoink! Uh, right. Um, and and the while in um, without the DLC, this place is uh, is boring. It it is nothing but the but the remains of a of a dwarven, uh, dwarven ruin, but as you can see here, activate the dwemer mechanism. Now we don't have the tools to activate it, but nothing you have will fit into the mechanism. Yes, we actually don't have seen anything uh, dwemer before this, um, but what it is is that this is the Ethereum Forge, and. Uh, while it isn't that big on the on the top, it is very big in the on the bottom, and it is very epic. I have to say that, and um, and the first quest of uh, the Ethereum Forge is probably among my favorite of, of the Dwemer. And well, I love the Dwemer stuff. Uh, again, with the note that I've said before that I don't mind the Dwemer being there, but I lack my the I lack the dwarves. I think the dwarves are really uh, what makes fantasy universes more than great. So, uh, taters. But yeah, uh, that is I. Uh, it, it was just along the way, which is why I would show it. So let's get back to the road and head back west. Go west. Can't remember the words. Go west. Oh my God, what I turd. Go west. Put your voice. Now I'm not. <sighs> Son of a motherfucking spider. <laughs> Can we? Nope. Don't you spit at me. Don't. Ah, I said, don't you dare you! Are you kidding me? Yeah, and you won't even give me my arrows back. It didn't I? Oh, wait, what? Uh. Okay, so apparently my voice of the sky have disappeared. I don't know why that is. Well. The good thing is that poisons in this game don't really last that long, even the, the stronger ones uh, have a very limited damage over time, so... Uh, this should be the alchemist hut coming up here. Now, this hut doesn't really uh, have any quest related to it. It is just a place for alchemy in the middle of nowhere, alchemist shack even. My bad, my bad, my bad. Um, the only thing there is to this is that it is one of the places where you can find a butterfly or an insect in a jar. Which is a unique thing. I usually store them around... Ooh, did I try this one? 
there will be ingredients here. Yeah? Glow dust. I did. Hmm. Well, what do you know? Any books? Yes. Any important enchanters? Why would you have an enchanters potion when you have nothing to enchant, my friend? Good. Basket and leak. No. There's a leak. There's a leak in the boiler room. That was lame. Any gold? No. Uh, is this long? No, oh, we can read that. Coming to this area was a brilliant decision. The local flora seemed to have many useful properties that I've been able to utilize the new potions. Outside, the rich soil has allowed the cuttings I've collected to grow into fine and bountiful plants. This afternoon, I think I will journey out for more mushrooms as my current supply is beginning to dwindle. On a personal note, I have moved my alchemy work outside the shack. I find the midday air as is a boon to my health as well as inspirational to my work. So that's a guy who wanted probably to live in solitude. Oh my, are you... Uh, well, I knew this would happen at some point. So, let's head straight into making some potions. Ah, yes, 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 yes. So, the way that you... Actually, let me get a lot more. Mm. So, the way that you do this is that uh, you got... Here are some of the, um, the things you can make. Now, these are all the traits that you have learned from al alchemical ingredients. But if you click this, it will mix two ingredients into a p potion of resist fire. Now, while you can do this, uh, it isn't very powerful at start, also because my ultimate le level is rather low. The interesting thing, and the way to learn how to learn more about alchemy, is to do this, selecting different um, ingredients and trying to mix them together. For example, let's go with something heavy. So, 0 0.5, and we have two of them. Yup. 0 0.5, lavender, uh, yeah. Uh, we could use some dough, some of those. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, let's go with that, and maybe that, and see. Now, it won't always make something, but sometimes it will. And in this case, we discovered some traits, which is a good, the good thing. So let's make a new one. Uh, off for that. Um, off for that, and let's say red and lavender. Uh, oh, that failed. So we go and there. How about this? All right. And we say blue. Clear selections, and we say blue and lavender and snowberries. And we say uh, thistle plants. Uh, nope. Uh, yeah. Nope. Red, purple, blue. That didn't work. Uh, snowberry, thistles, thundra, cotton. Uh, uh, thundra cotton, purple, and blue. No. Well, that's all right. Uh, purple, snowberries. Nope. Uh, thistle. Right, that works. How about red? Now it uh, it grays out those that it, you have tried, so that you don't have to try them again, which is sort of kind of handy. Uh, snowberries and uh, how about purple? That worked too. Now this didn't really help us uh, clearing out our inventory, as the potions weigh a lot more than the ingredients do. So, how m bad is it? It is not too bad, actually. We are, well, we also failed a couple of sides. So, uh, those... Uh, Ravage Magicka, well, I can take this. 
Oh, that's a poison. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, actually, why not? Uh, fortified conjuration? Uh, we don't gonna, we're not going to use that, so. Uh, health? I uh, don't want to use that. Resist cold? Yeah, why not? Resist frost? Oh. No, that's. So that's. that's oh, but that's. Alright. What else have we made? Um, that's a poison too. But now we can run again. So, let's head further down the road. Or should I say up the road, as we're now going into the pass that leads from the rift up. And we use that. Now it has no effect on these, but well, I'm, I wasn't going to use the poisons anyway, and they are, don't sell it for enough to keep them. I wonder what happened to my voice of the sky. Um, we're going through. We're going through this pass, and uh, when we reach Helgen, uh, I'll s stop the episode there. So this one will be uh, a bit longer. Hmm. Uh, leg of goat. This one doesn't actually have goat horns. These are the horns that you need, so... Uh, for now. Uh, this one has... Aha! Now, the antlers is, unless you find them in a shop, is actually one that you can miss if you don't go out of your way to find or kill elks. Uh, they are both large antlers and they are small antlers. Wait. Did something just attack me? No, or was just that? No, that was just a potion wearing off. Um, either way, this is the uh, a shortcut uh, from the rift into Falkreath Hold, uh, which is the one with uh, where Helgen is in. And um, now, on the map and uh, on the compass, Helgen is considered as a village. However. Helgen is not uh, code-wise considered as a settlement, which means that um, activities that are meant for um, uh, f to happen within a settlement, such as uh, the cultist attacking you, will not happen in Helgen, as it isn't a, a village in coding. Uh, oh dear. Uh, I have... Uh, I'm in two minds about this uh, this quest. Uh, barbers have a very annoying voice. Well, to say nothing of... Uh, of the guy. Uh, what is this called? Uh, let me just... I can't remember his name. Well, he has a very annoying voice. Uh, and he wants to trick you, basically. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> ah, a hunter. Or a horse. Don't think we need to do anything with him. Hello. Oh, can I not speak to you? No. So... It was likely the hunter and not the wolf that kills those uh, goat and the the elk back there. Now this part of Skyrim is probably one of the least visited. I mean, people go here for Haymar's shame. And this is actually a Stormcloak camp. Uh, we don't need anything here, but for discovery, let's uh, just visit it. Falkreath Stormcloak camp. So, initially these camps are meant to be uh, tactical um, points of, well, uh, camp encampments where from which uh, the Imperial Army and the Stormcloaks, respectively, can strike from within a hold. But uh, unless you actually do the Civil War, they don't really do anything about them. Um, the camp leaders are considered as important NPCs, so that you cannot kill them. You can kill anyone else in the camps, which 
even even without joining uh, either side, so you can clear out the camps only have the camp leaders uh, being in there. Now the soldiers will respawn uh, eventually, uh, but the camp leaders will always stay there. So here we are coming up on Helgen now. The part of the reason why this is uh, this is mostly unexplored is uh, Falkreath is largely, well, to many and to the story, it is largely uninteresting. There isn't much to go for, and uh, but well, at least uh, in Hearthfire, you need to go to the Yala of Falkreath. Actually, let's look at the map. How far are we from? Not that. Ah, well, that's a bit of a journey, but. Ah, uh, we can do that. We got, I would say, 20 minutes. So, we need to clear out Helgen. Now, Helgen, since the attack of uh, the dragon, have been hit pretty hard. But it has not kept bandits from moving in. Uh, Helgen is uh, it's the only place where you can find mead with juniper berries, as mentioned in the uh, intro cutscene. Now, isn't this... No, it's not this one. There is a lock on uh, the one down. The one gate down there actually has a lock on it. So, and there should be some bandits around. So almost all the ho all the houses and the keep have been damaged to well. Isn't the someone down by the gate? No. Mm. I was sure there was. Well. There probably is someone here, though. Right? Or am I mistaken? See, when you don't want bandits to attack you, they attack you. And when you want them to come out so you can shoot them, there's no one there. Actually, I think they might be here anyway, but... Uh, in here, perhaps? Can we see movement? Anyone in the tower? Now, I love to revisit Helgen because there's something, well, completionist going back to where it all started. I mean, if you were to be that completionist, uh, you were to go even further back, but you cannot do that. Ah, I was hoping... Alright, well, since there are no bandits, there is no need for us to stay. So let's head out the south west entrance and beyond the road down to Falkreath. Now this road heads to Falkreath, so it shouldn't be a big uh, issue. When we get to Falkreath, we will uh, clear our affi affiliations uh, and diseases by visiting uh, a shrine of... Uh, what's it called? Arcane uh, at the graveyard. We'll probably also pick up a few radiant quests and... That is a bandit camp, is it not? It is... Oi! This was nice. So there are bees floating around here. Now, luckily, bees don't actually attack you. Which is quite good. However, uh, a large amount of uh, insects can sometimes mean that um, uh, there are. Uh, what's it called? Um, a. S Another skill book. Um, also, uh, that there are. Um, my mind is going blank today. I'm sorry. Um, the heck are they called? Uh, nope. Um, what is? See, these, these guys first show up when you... Go on down. They are all archers. The Skyrim standoff. Oh, 
we're pretty close to noon, so that's fitting. Mm. Um. Oh, are there two here? Let's take you. Ow. Yay, we got him in the face! That's a success. Well, not for him, but... Uh, I can't for the life of me remember what they're called right now. Uh, I'll probably remember it afterwards and put it in an annotations in the in the video. Why the, f why, the f why can't I remember? Huh. Oh well, never mind. Oh, hello, Bala Bala Babas. I don't really want to talk to you. No. I know. What? Oh, that's a hunter. Oh, he's just shooting that wall, that fox. Yoink. Well, it would be a shame to waste him now, would it? Maybe that maybe maybe that isn't Barbus. Maybe it is. Uh, yeah, that's just a dog. Phew. Well, it is around here that you can meet Barbas, and eh, he kind of he kind of bothers me. Uh, what? A, oh, another spider! You prick! That time was a hit. That was a hit, and. Critical strike with a bow bash. Uh, that's pretty well done. Uh, this one actually leads to one of the pine watch. Yes, uh, it actually leads to one of the the quests that I, I really like. So, and there's um, uh, what are they called? Uh, uh, Stone of Baron Sire within there. So that is absolutely one of those we can do. Uh, there are people up in the tower, but we can't see them yet because of the render distance, which is otherwise pretty good. Uh, yes, you popped right in, and then you will pop right out of existence with an arrow in the face. Oh, well, it's probably more the shoulder, but... Could you sense... No, you could not stand still. Of course not. You had to be a prick about it, didn't you? Come out here so I can shoot you. Oh. Whee! And he fell down. Tumble! Now no one is up there, but somehow... These activate by themselves. That is pretty strange. Why are you... Now... The boulders I can understand, but why are you throwing kettles down? That makes no sense. Mm. Let me just go around, do a bit of jump climbing. Hop, 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 hop. And then we head on over yonder. And there is some arrows, which we will claim as ours, and a bandit. Why would you not be? A, why would you not be an archer when you're up here? You know, you are. Can you, sir? It appears that. All right, you want to do this the hard way. We'll do this the hard way. And it fly! Oh, he was lodged. Aha! Well, there's nothing more here up here. Nope. Oh, there's a chair we could sit on, but... Yeah. Use the trap to get down safely. 
And uh, we have a... No, let's just head into Falkreath. There is no need to dally anymore. I... Uh, I almost had it. You know, you know that feeling when you have... Um, you know what it is, but you just, in the moment, can't remember what it is. Well, uh, I have that currently. What the bloody hell are they called? I know they're matrons and they come from trees. I did. Well, you are the the gate the gate guard, even though there is no gate. So, but um, ah, never mind. The good thing about Falkreath is that it is fully equipped as a capsule should be. But let it let's clear our affections first, like this. Any shrine will do, but. All right, let's see. Active effect. Fine. And we have some extra health. We could do that quest right now, but it's a bit of a long shot. So, uh, yes, that's will that will be it for this episode. Um, I will on the off camera between this and the next episode. I will sell some stuff hopefully as much as possible and um, I think we'll start off the next episode by heading in and visiting the Jarl of Falkreath starting off our hearth Hearthfire adventure so until then see you soon and take care uh, that should be it